Welcome to Creature Fridays, where I give you a quick introduction to one of the animal species we have in the UK. For the 15th video, we're going to take a look at Anthocaris cardamines, or the orange tip butterfly. This species is named after the appearance of the males, which are white with bright orange wingtips. The females are also white, but have smaller black wingtips. Both sexes have a small black spot on their wings and a mottled green patterning under their wings. The orange tip butterfly is common and widespread across the UK, although its spread into Scotland was primarily in the last 30 years, so records are still spotty in the far north. It's actually one of the few butterfly species whose population size and range size are both increasing, so we don't currently have to worry about conserving it. This species is found in damper habitats like meadows, woodland glades, hedgerows and the banks of streams. However, it's also a frequent garden visitor. If you want to be able to help butterfly species like this one in your own garden, then make sure to check out my wildlife friendly gardening guide, which I've linked to in the description below. The adult butterflies take nectar from flowers. The caterpillars can eat a range of plants, with their preference being garlic mustard, cuckoo flowers or hedge mustard. They can be found hatching out onto Honesty and Dame's Violet in gardens, but their survival rate is poor on these plants. Although the orange tip butterfly doesn't spend winter in its adult form, it's one of the earliest emergents and so you can see adults flying from early spring. The adults tend to meander in any direction in search of nectar and mates. Males are particularly seen flying for long periods of time without stopping, on the lookout for females. Females are more often found in the vicinity of their food plants. It's thought that the difference in colour between the sexes is related to these behaviours, with females staying secretive near where they're going to lay their eggs, and males advertising with bold colours as a warning that they taste bad so they shouldn't be eaten as they take their long commutes. After mating, the female will lay a single egg on a stalk of a caterpillar food plant. Once they hatch, these caterpillars are cannibalistic, taking the opportunity to eat any other caterpillars, including their siblings. To avoid this, the female will rarely lay more than one egg on an individual plant. The eggs that they lay are greenish-white when laid, but gradually turn orange. A week or two later, the larvae emerge and begin to feed on the developing seed pods of the plant. They are green and extremely well camouflaged, looking like the shoots coming off of the host plant stem. They will undergo four molts over the space of three to four weeks as they grow. They will seek out plant stems or similar vertical surfaces to form their chrysalis, which they will stay in over winter. This is green when it's first formed, but gradually turns light brown over the winter time. Once spring comes back around, this next generation of adults emerges and continues the cycle. If you enjoyed learning about this animal, then make sure to check out some of my other videos. Subscribe to Ferroforest to keep learning about UK nature.